Hey team, how's it going today? We're looking at how powerful is the US military in 2024. US military inventory, new technologies. Remember to check out the original video in the description as always, but let's get into it. You wouldn't want that coming at you, would you? America. The country with the largest army in the world. Before starting, is it the, the video, largest? You like this kind of China and India have a huge military as well. Is it the biggest? Videos. You can subscribe to our channel. America is making huge investments in the military field in order to have a say in the world, and it is constantly developing its defense industry by introducing new technologies. The current population of America is 341 million. It's pretty decent now, size we will population. Now start with the land forces, and we will examine the naval and air forces respectively. The Amer Bearing in mind, we know that they spend around 800 billion, I think it is, if I remember correctly, each year on their military. 800 billion. I think the UK is around 60 to 70 billion. Other countries around 60 to 70. Their budget is far bigger than any other nation. American Army has a total of 2.127,000 military Ooh. personnel. Of these, 1,328,000 are active and 799,000 are reserve personnel. America is the only country in the world that has nearly 200,000 military personnel outside its borders and also has nearly 1,000 bases in the world. That's a footprint, isn't it? You want, you want to take, you want to have a say in the world. You want to be able to push things in your direction. Um, then that is one way of doing it, isn't it? Having a thousand, 200,000 personnel based around the world at all times. British military, only British army is only over 70,000, 130,000 in total, not including reserves. So they've got more posted abroad than we have in total. Thanks to these, it enables it to launch military operations very quickly in most of the world. This allows it to get ahead in the war. Yep. America has also more than 6,300 tanks in total. 1,500 self about 2,800 towed artillery, 1,400 rocket projectors. So like... 1,595 self-propelled artillery. Twenty eight hundred towed artillery. And 1410 rocket projectors. Look at that. Can you imagine 1400 of them? We must have got about 10. The, role in ground forces. the M1A2 Abrams, with the most powerful armor and technology, is the. Is one of the best tanks in the world, especially is it the new A2? Is by far one of the best main battle tanks in the world. Main battle tank of the army. Naval forces. The main purpose of the naval forces is to prevent dangers from the sea and support operational troops on land and in the air with high technologies and long-range weapons mounted on it. There are a total of 472 ships in the US Navy. That's ridiculous. Bear in mind, that's 472 ships. The UK has just made an order. Well, not just made an order, but an order in for ages, and they're finally getting delivered. 589 armoured vehicles. So that's a new Ajax variant family. 589, and that's quite a few armoured vehicles. They've got 472 ships alone. Like, think how expensive they are to cost, uh, to build, run, maintain. 11 of these ships are aircraft carriers. Nine are helicopter carriers. There are 75 destroyers. 75 destroyers. By far the best navy in the world. With No one comes close. 23 corvettes. 64 submarines. Just as many submarines nearly as destroyers. Five patrol ships and eight mine warfare ships. The United States is a country that has dominated the world in naval forces. Aircraft carriers are very important for the US 
and it has invested heavily in them. As a result, it has more aircraft carriers than all the other countries in the world combined. Yeah. And the U.S. also has the largest aircraft carriers in the world. When these aircraft carriers are equipped with state-of-the-art fighter jets, a great power emerges and has a great advantage in war. Another of the U.S.'s most important weapons at sea are submarines. Submarines are one of the most effective military hardware developed throughout history. Submarines are the most advanced and powerful means of warfare after aircraft carriers, providing the ability to attack sea and land targets at great distances. It's impressive, isn't it? Look at it. Air Force. The most important weapons in warfare are air forces, because countries that cannot control the airspace are doomed to defeat. That's very true. If you can take over an airspace, okay, so first things first when you go in, you're most probably going to want to take an airport um, somewhere. You can obviously land or make your own airport a runway. You can land and get troops and supplies in straight away. And then you want air superiority, especially obviously against someone who else has got air, because then you want to destroy the air, take the superiority. If they haven't, like Afghan, we won so many battles because of air. Like we really did very advanced and technologically advanced powerful country in this regard. The United States has a total of 13 209 aircraft. 1854 of them are fighter aircraft. I... How many of these are serviceable direct attack aircraft? 957 transports. We've got about eight transports, I think. 2648 trainers, 695 special mission aircraft, 606 tanker fleet, 5737 helicopters, 1,000 attack helicopters. I think when it comes to Navy, like sea and air, no one can come, really come up against the US. Which play an important role in You're the not force, change the course of wars. America has made significant technological breakthroughs in fighter jets and has developed itself in this field. The tasks of fighter jets are used to bomb targets on land and water, to neutralize other aircraft, and to perform reconnaissance missions. These fighter jets play a multifaceted role and are equipped with a variety of weapons and equipment and participate in various military operations. They are designed to meet the strategic and tactical needs of the Air Force in these missions. America is constantly increasing the number of weapons by continuous production. In fact, the issue that is more important than these numbers is technology. Since the USA knows this issue, it is constantly making improvements in technology and it also creates new technological weapons day by day. Of course, a price must be paid for all of these. <laughs> Literally a high America's price. America's defense budget for 2024 is $831,781,000. <laughs> it has Jesus. managed to become the first in the world in the defense industry position because it has continuously increased its defense budget. Like massively. They are not afraid Nuclear to spend power. money. Nuclear weapons are used to inflict much more damage than general explosives. Just one weapon used has the power to completely destroy an entire city or a country, both living and non-living. That is why we hope that these weapons are not used. Nuclear weapons were originally built to be used as a deterrent. The USA has a total of 5428 <laughs> nuclear warheads. Oh my god, you the most powerful the countries in the world in the position of nuclear power are America and Russia. In this video, we examined the military power of the United States, which is number one in the military field. If you like such military videos, you can subscribe to our channel. If there is another country you want us to review, or if you have another video idea, you can write in the comments. See you in another video. They are number one by far. One, because of personnel. Are they the biggest? They've got to be very similar to India and China. 
Um, they have a mass, China I know and India have a good personnel of just over a million, if not two million, if I remember rightly. Budget, no one comes close. You know, most are spending around 10% of what the US are spending on budget. So when it comes to being able to support uh, and sort of, you know, R&D and develop new technology and maintain it, then they are there. You saw they've got a lot of vehicles and boats and aircraft. So I do wonder how many of them are serviceable and operational. Not all of them are going to be. Um, so that's a mass one. But still, even if a lot of them weren't operational and they weren't serviceable, they still have most probably more vehicles, um, aircraft and definitely ships than any other nation. You think they've got 11 aircraft carriers, we've got two. Only a, some, a few nations have one or two. And what is it, France, India, uh, and a couple others. No one comes close to them, even with submarines either, so they dominate the sea easily. No one comes close to them with the amount of aircraft, and you think they're F-16s, F-22s, F-35s, F-15s, F-18s. Uh, you've got, they've got their stealth bombers, the B-1, etc. Mine is the personnel. They've just got, they've, I know they're having recruitment issues, but they've still got more personnel. I think China and India are about a million, two million personnel as well, but they've got a population of over one billion each. You know, those two have nearly half the world's population in their two countries alone. America have somehow got what, around 0.6% of their population in the military. Bearing, compared to the UK, we've most probably got about a 0.2. We're, what, around 70 to 80 billion, I believe, of a population. And we've got, what, 130 regular, maybe 200,000 personnel, including reserves. Not even that, I don't think. And 1% of that, say, is 700. 350,000 would be 50%. And we're nowhere near 300,000. Their population is 341 million. 1% is 3.4. And they've got a military personnel of 2 million. Um, 1.2 active uh, and then the rest reserves so even though they're struggling with recruitment they are very good at getting their citizens into the military to have you know not nearly but you know as close to as one percent of their civilians serving which i think is really impressive so they're obviously doing something right there tactics wise Special Forces, very, very good. Marines, very good. I do question some of how their tactics and how they survive. You know, the American Army can't really live without their sort of field kitchens and Humvees. They worked with us. We set up bashes in a wood block, slept under our ponchos, and they absolutely piled in. But they are very good blokes. They are very good at what they do. Um, but they love their field kitchens and they love their vehicles. And they don't like deploying without them. So very impressive I think it's, yeah, no one beats the US military. I think if you've got the US military on your sides, you're favourable to win. But with the way the current climate is and the world is, it would be scary, say, if it all did kick off and they did go up against Russia and China, what would actually happen? But I just think just with air and sea alone, before you even go into land, they win, hands down. They really do. But uh, I'm very interested to know what percentage of their equipment is serviceable. As I know with the UK military, we've got a lot of equipment. We've most probably got about 8 to 10 MRS and they've got, what, 1,400. Um, yeah, but I wonder what's the percentage because we have a lot of vehicles and I know a good few percent of them are unserviceable, unroadworthy and can't be used. So I'd be interested to know. What's your thoughts? Does anyone beat America? Uh, do you think those numbers are correct? Comment below what your thoughts are.